Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video we're going to be looking at the gym versus home. So you know many of you guys actually train from home or don't have access to the gym. So in this video I'm going to take a look at seven exercises we see at the gym. I'm going to modify them so you can do them from the comfort of your home using only a resistance band or even just body weight. So let's go. First I'm going to be showing you how you can do the squat from home using one of the long bands. Now at home, one of the challenges are that we don't have access to a whole lot of weights, so we need to get a little bit creative. For example, I like to implement things like pause reps, quarter reps, and different methods like that to challenge myself in a different way of progressive overload. Step into our band and put it either on the front side of your shoulders to make it like a front squat or behind your head like I'm going to show here. Your stand should be the same as when doing it with a barbell. Take a deep breath in, pause at the bottom, and then breathe out when you come back up. Next up, we are moving on to the abductor machine, which is one of my favorite exercises to target glutes. Make sure you sit on the bench, which is lower than 90 degrees, because otherwise you will feel your hip flexors working instead of your glutes, and put the band underneath your knees. First, you have 8 abductions with the right leg, then 8 with the left one, and 8 abductions with both legs. And when you have done all of those reps, it counts as one set. Believe me, your glutes will be on fire for sure. Now I'm going to show you how to target your abductors from home using only your body weight. Lay on the side, place the elbow underneath your shoulder for stability, and raise the straight leg which is on the ground. You're going to be adding paused reps with this as well. So hold the end position for 2 seconds and then put the leg down. Next up, we are going to be moving on to the RDL or Romanian deadlift. I like to do this with lighter weight, but then I add pulleys or quarter reps, which I'm going to show you in the home variation with the resonance band. And please remember that you don't always have to be adding weight to the bar in order to challenge yourself. And this is why we are increasing the time under tension and adding some variations when it does come to our reps to make it a little bit harder. Tuck your chin in. Your knee should have just a soft bend and go with the barbell slightly below your knees. Focus on drawing your hips back as far as you can and increasing the time under tension on your glutes and hamstrings. Next up, I'm going to show you how you can do the RDL from home. Again, using one of the long bend and the booty bend and you're going to be adding quarter reps with these. In this variation, we are going to do B stance RDL with booty band. With this one, keep the weight in the front foot with the booty band hooked around the midfoot and your back foot on toes for balance and support. Grab the band with both hands and keep constant tension. Hinge forward at the hips and strengthen the working leg as you come back up, using your posterior chain to drive the movement. You're doing one full and one quarter rep. The next variation is with long resistance band. So this is the same movement as RDL, just without the barbell. So push your hips back and your chest forward to feel the tension on your glutes and hamstrings. And as in any other exercise, don't go just through the movements, but use mind to muscle connection and think about the exercise you're performing. Now we are moving on to the leg extension machine which I don't actually use to just pump up my quads because they get activated in almost any leg workout. But if you want to specifically target your quads, next up I'm going to show you a great quad isolation exercise which is kneeling city squat. And while it may look simple, if you've done properly, the squat burn from this exercise is real. Get on your knees and lower your body towards the heels. Some coaching cues for this one are to tuck your pelvis in and maintain a posterior pelvic tilt throughout the whole movement. Keep your core and glutes engaged to help you maintain balance and control and make sure to keep body in straight line from shoulders to knees throughout the whole repetition. Next up, we are moving on to the upper body and the first exercise is the rear delt fly. And when doing those in the gym with dumbbells, it's important to focus on the technique or the weight. Because shoulders are a small muscle group, so if you increase the weight too quickly, you may lose that shoulder connection and the stronger muscles will take over. Hold the band at approximately shoulder width with palms facing up. 
Keep your arms straight through the movement. Retract your shoulders and spread the band apart. Make sure you pull using your real delts, not your arms. Last but not the least is the T-bar row, which is great for improving core stability, but it also activates all the upper body muscles. And as you already know, I will show you both using the barbell and for the home variation, we are going to be using again a long band for this one. Stand on the band, twist it and grab it with hands. Your position should be the same as when doing the RDL. So lean your trunk forward and slightly bend your knees. Make sure your core is locked on tight and pull the band towards your hips. If you like this video and it wasn't helpful, please hit the like button and share it with others who may need some home workout inspiration. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!